What's next for Devin Haney inside and outside the ring as his attorney has filed paperwork with the New York State Athletic Commission requesting that Ryan Garcia's victory be turned into a disqualification that would award Devin Haney with the win over Ryan Garcia April 20th in which Ryan Garcia was found to be on the the, the PED Osterine. He tested positive twice for it the day of the weigh-in in which this paperwork also says that Ryan Garcia or states that Ryan Garcia did not give his uh, urine to VADA uh, and, to, and to, to submit it into drug testing until hours after weighing in while Devin Haney uh, almost immediately gave over his urine. So basically it's saying that, you know, there, there's speculation on why it took Ryan so long on the day of the weigh-in to submit his urine to the drug testing, right? And then on top of that, he also tested positive the very next day on the night of the fight. For those wondering why Ryan was allowed to fight uh, if he tested positive for Osterine, if it was in his system, it's because it takes days for the results to come in. It's a very simple answer. It's unfortunate, but that's just what it's always been. It takes days for someone to... Uh, the reason why they test on the day of the fight the day before the fight is because someone can take PDs right before the fight. They could, so think about this. If you took tests, before I get into more details and more of this video, if you took tests leading up to a fight and then you stop testing somebody the week of the fight and they take PDs, then what? So you have to be clean all the way through, not just the month before, not three weeks before, not two weeks before, not a week before, not five, four, three days before, but all the way until after the fight. That's why they drug test you after the fight. And I've been to many fights, low, uh, uh, not even big fights, where you see fighters going to see doctors immediately after the fight and also in the biggest fights, especially world title fights, depending on the sanction all sanctioning bodies almost and definitely the wbc you're taking a drug test so getting back into what devin's trying to do uh if anyone else again the precedence has been already uh, uh inboxing lucian boot uh fought to a majority draw with badu jack then uh that was overturned he was disqualified he tested positive for osterine he also uh, was fined he, sus he was suspended for six months going back to the day of the failed test so again a, a little similar the only difference i guess the biggest difference there is that uh one of the fighters won outright on the night but again if you cheated if you even if you didn't intentionally cheat having peds in your system is cheating that's why it's banned that's why it's ruled out that's why we have a whole uh testing company you know to go over these things right so not only that if you're in the olympics and you test positive for a performance enhancing drug if you came in first for example in a race in second place third place fourth place if first place is uh, uh, awarded the victory in that moment but it comes out days or even a week later that they were on peds the second place becomes the gold or the number one, the winner, by disqualification or just by forfeiture, right? When you cheat, you forfeit, period. So at worst, this would be a no contest, a forfeited victory. And at best, it would be a disqualification on Ryan, right? So anyone who thinks that Ryan should keep his W, let me also insert a huge fact that on May 22nd, Ryan will find out if he failed his B sample. Now, in my opinion, if you failed your A sample two different days, I don't really need to hear much about your B sample, but there's due process, right? And my only issue with it is that Ryan has been seen with people like Donald Trump ryan is uh, uh close to some of the, the the same people that he is alleging he's exposing 
right so if anybody could get a drug test flipped right it would be ryan garcia so you know what does his money pay for how does his positions of power and his influence what does it pay for him to be able to do i have no reason to believe that victor conti would just single ryan out and go on a witch hunt against him when he's not even the first fighter that alleged that snack athletes were dirty that didn't start with ryan people have been uh, questioning snack for years bud crawford jerome boots and shakur stevenson kayla plant mikey garcia uh devin haney many 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 fighters have been linked to snack right and my whole position on that is that why would victor conti already be punished by in by the feds at that in one of the biggest pd scandals and then come out and then continue to do the same thing that is why he is part of vada because he knows all the tricks in the trades as i said before it takes uh, you almost have to be criminal minded to catch criminals right you have to think like someone to catch someone in their own game and so for those of you who think that victor conti would be out here still peddling peds or helping fighters cheat when the feds are already again when you when you go in the feds and you come out and you start cooperating and all that you don't think they're monitoring him you don't think that he's under surveillance you don't think that they're uh, uh with the front with a microscope on him about what he's doing with vada and is he cheating and you know this is a big big deal right because i don't think vada just does boxing does it uh so Devin haney is doing the right things outside of the ring if somebody cheated you if somebody was found to be on peds against you uh in what sport does that whole weight and what sport does that count right i'll bring up lance armstrong titles vacated marion jones gold medals vacated ben johnson right there's guys like barry bonds who never tested positive for peds but everybody swore he's on peds but then when you have ryan garcia test positive for the ped osterin when you have canelo alvarez test positive for the ped clenbuterol when you have Tyson Fury test positive for the PEE, PED Nandrolone. When you have Oscar Valdez uh, uh, test positive for, I don't even remember what, you know, all of these guys get passes. Canelo gets a $365 million payday. Tyson Fury fights for Undisputed. Tyson Fury, uh, uh, he can do whatever he wants. Ryan Garcia is praised for cheating simply because the desired outcome was had and that's Devin Haney losing people hate Devin so much that they don't care that Ryan cheated they don't care that Ryan had PDs but let that have been any of their favorite fighters who they actually watch boxing for if they actually have any and watch boxing for you know enjoyment you know not vendettas then they'll tell you okay man that's not right you cheated bro because that's exactly what Ryan did he even mentioned boxing having a league where people are, were allowed to take peds he said this before the fight he said this during fight week and i was standing right in front of him at gleason's gym in brooklyn new york when he said it so people who are clean don't just say shit like that you ain't never heard a clean athlete say you know what man you know it'd be crazy if we had a league that uh that that everybody took steroids you you don't hear people saying that and in that same instance, in that same setting, when I was standing in front of Ryan, he said that I also asked him, I said, is there any consequence to you making weight? And are you going to make the weight? Oh man, uh, ain't no consequence. I'll make that shit if I feel like it, if I want to. This is my show. Then he thought about it, he said, ah oh, man, I'm just joking, man. I can make the weight. The weight is easy to make. So he lied, he lied to me right he lied to me so why would i think that this man would be honest with anybody right he self-admittedly told you i'm smoking weed i was high at the fight so is he a liar or is he trolling right that's the thing with ryan he's a deceiver and it doesn't matter if he's telling the truth in one moment or he's lying in the next moment you can't believe anything he says because he'll do he'll say anything for any reaction and all reactions 
And why would I think that a man who retired from boxing due to mental health issues, allegedly, right, who also wants to troll and wants empathy from people, would keep it solid, bro. This nigga's a liar. He's a faker. He's an actor. He's the boy who cried wolf. Yet y'all hate Devin. Ryan Garcia, father, talk a lot of trash, but just he he's not as effective. He doesn't connect with people like Bill does, but y'all don't hate him, right? Y'all don't hate him, right? So again, uh, outside of Devin, what he's doing outside the ring, he said that he didn't want a rematch with Ryan. He said he wanted to handle it a different, a whole different way. And I don't blame Devin for ha ha reacting however he does. You know, we all can say, oh, he should do this, he should do that. But, uh, bro, when you have the type of momentum Devin had and you have the type of platform Devin had and you're doing it independently and you're doing it the way they're doing it and you've accomplished what he's accomplished, who knows how you would take that first hurdle in the road. It's one thing for you to take it on the chin and you take it on the chin in that moment. But then you, you circle back and you find out that the dude was on PEDs. You know, in your camp, in Devin's camp, he's doing everything. Nah, bro, I can't drink that. I can't eat that. You know, that's not good for me. That's okay. Oh, I can't eat that. Man, I don't know what that got in it. That might have some other shit in it. I can't take none of that. That might come up positive on my test. Even if it's even if it's just steak. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure his chef vets where he gets his stuff from. He sources where he gets all of his food and ingredients from. Because we can't run the risk of testing positive for anything. Not weed, like Keyshawn Davis, right? Not weed, not uh, no PEDs, nothing, right? Also, we gonna train hard after this press conference to make weight. We got a few more pounds to go and we'll be at 140. I know one thing, Ryan wasn't 140 at no time, right? But Devin weighed 140 when he was supposed to as a professional on the scale. Ryan didn't do that. So Ryan cut corners the entire way he cut corners with his promotion what did he do he got on the conspiracy theorist tip he got on the i'm gonna expose the elites tip ryan is no different than any of the people he called out in fact his obsession with saving the children and uh, uh trafficking and all of these things it makes you wonder about him Usually the things that people complain about most are the things they're into. They give it the most energy, the most time. And Ryan is very suspect. Ryan said he's a woman. Ryan came out as a woman, right? Ryan has a lot of, as we call it in our culture, quote, white boy humor. He finds sassy shit in you know, freaky ass nigga, he is 69 God. He finds that type of stuff entertaining, uh, comedic, humorous, as I should say. It's humorous to them. We don't find, we don't play with stuff like that in our culture, right? So, uh, but the funniest thing about it is Ryan wants to be a part of our culture. That's why he came out to Kanye West. That's why he's trying to rap now. That's why he talks the way he talks you know but that's another topic right but anyway what's next for Devin I think that Devin should you know take his time coming back I think he should come back against a real solid opponent um I don't know if that's going to be Sandra Martin or whoever but I don't think he needs to rush anything in his career he's 25 years old he had a setback but uh honestly I don't acknowledge Ryan's win I don't give him any credit you know, after the fight, you can watch my you can watch my videos. Whatever y'all was reading, I gave Ryan his credit. I gave him his credit. I say he was better in the exchanges. He was better overall. Uh, a performance enhancing drug is just that. It's performance enhancing. It allows you to train without rest days. Right. And, uh, and it's so funny that a lot of you all, you're not athletes. You never what you never competed in athletics. You didn't compete in the fight game. Uh, that's one thing, but to not even be athletic or compete in athletics or even be in shape now. <laughs> Do you work out now? You know what I'm saying? So for these same people to tell us about weight cutting and 
being in shape and what form you come in in the fights and how it affects your performance. When's the last time you did a physical activity? But that's another topic. Don't take that to heart. I'm just saying. Just saying. So to say Ryan, oh, well, why couldn't Devin miss the hook and miss every fighter going to have uh, deficiencies and things that are weak in them, no matter what fight you watch. Ryan didn't look sharp in, in a lot of that fight. Ryan lost many rounds in that fight, like not two, not three, he lost maybe four or five, maybe six rounds at least. His most dominant rounds were the rounds where he had knockdowns in. But again, Ryan's conditioning was not great. And that's one thing that PEDs improves. Your conditioning, your stamina, your oxygen levels, how you breathe, all of the above. And though Ryan may have not looked supreme in all aspects, it was good for Ryan. The same dude who quit against Tank Davis. You know, it's amazing how people praise Ryan like he's this hell of a hell of a boxer. Yeah, he quit against Tank. So why wouldn't he take PDs against Tank? Because he was undefeated. Right? Because he have no reason. Maybe he I don't know if he was or he wasn't. Tank seemed to believe that he was before they fought. Right? Ryan's never tested positive for a PED test before. But Tank just looked at Ryan and said, Oh, he on that shit. So Tank accused Ryan of being on PEDs with no evidence. And now when evidence that Ryan is on PEDs, that's what a failed drug test is. It's evidence that you're on PEDs, fools. Now all of a sudden, uh, oh, it's a conspiracy, man. The, the, the elite's trying to get at Ryan. For what? What did Ryan expose? Ryan didn't expose anything, dummies. Ryan ain't say nothing, dummies, that you can't find on YouTube. That you can't find on Twitter. Ryan hasn't exposed anything but himself. Crazy antics. Always in somebody talking about everybody he can think of just for views and, and attention. Now he says when y'all cash app him 250000 he's going to donate it to child traffic trafficking organizations. What do you mean by that, bro? You mean anti-child trafficking organizations? And what you need 250 k from the people for? Then you just, then you just uh, 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 brag that you got $50 million from the Devin fight? Why don't you send it to him? This has been your fucking, your fucking uh, uh, agenda for, 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 since before the uh, fight. Why weren't you on this when you fought Tank? Why weren't you on this when you fought Duarte? Why weren't you on this when you fought Fundora? I mean, I'm talking about this campaign to save all these people and this conspiracy shit. You didn't start this till you fought Devin, nigga. And that's the truth about it. But again, most of y'all not going to keep it funky because you've never been solid. Y'all always, some of, a lot of Ryan fans are casuals and they're young. So they're like kids. Kids and casuals. Right? So anyway, man. Y'all do, y'all, y'all do. Uh, 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 I haven't really covered this from, from super closely because I don't respect it. I don't respect the reactions. And I don't feel like hearing or facilitating conversation on people excusing this man cheating. So you haven't seen me talk about it much. And that's why. But let me know what y'all think in the comments. It's the baddest brand in the lane, champ side.